Hi, today we're going to be looking at cam locks, specifically the three inch and the four inch cam locks, as they are predominantly the ones used on tankers. So how do cam locks work? What we have here is a cutaway female and the male fitting. Inside the cutaway female you'll see is a sealing gasket and the cam lock securely goes in there and with the levers pushed down it creates a tight seal. So what are the differences between cam locks? Internationally there are two recognised standards in cam locks. The predominant standard in cam locks today is the NATO AA 59326A or as it was originally referred to as MIL C 27487 standard. This was created during World War II to ensure all NATO forces used a uniform standard in all host connections. The second standard is the EU standard EN 144207 or DIN 2828. The two standards are identical in cam and groove sizing. Their only difference is in the number of grip serrations on the hostile part of the cam lock. Locally, there is also what's commonly referred to as Australian standard cam lock. Unfortunately, there is no official Australian standard as there is with NATO or EU, which means that the Australian standard cam lock are different dimensionally from the NATO standard. In fact, what we found is there are differences even between Australian standard cam locks depending on the manufacturer. The differences are very small, but enough to cause incompatibility between the cam locks, which we'll now demonstrate. We'll start off with the three inch cam locks. To your right, I have a NATO standard. To your left, I have an Australian standard. So we'll start off with the NATO standard, NATO standard male into the NATO standard female and locks into place. Australian standard male into Australian standard female and once again locks into place. Okay. Now we'll try swapping them over. So the NATO male into the Australian standard female. As you can see one even go in. The strain standard male into the NATO female goes in okay, but the levers do not lock in. So if we turn this around, you'll see that there's no compression on the gasket. Because there is no compression onto the gasket, you will have a leak. Now we'll do the same demonstration with four inch cam locks. To your right, we have the NATO standard and to your left we have the strain standard. So NATO into the NATO goes in quite well. Strain standard male into the strain standard female once again goes in quite easily. Now as we did with the three inch we will demonstrate by swapping them around. So we'll start off with the strain standard male into the NATO female no connection. The NATO male into the Australian standard female goes in okay. So this is interesting to note that it's the opposite of what we experienced with the three inch. So it causes confusion amongst users, especially if you're having to buy a part and you're not sure which standard you're using. So how do we solve all of this confusion? Well, our recommendation is to adopt to a NATO standard across the board. Why? This way you'll ensure you're using a uniform standard in both three inch and four inch cam locks, which are then compatible with the rest of the country, in fact, the whole world. So optionally for four inch cam locks, Comair have developed a multi-standard female to hostile cam lock, which is compatible with both NATO and Australian fittings. So we'll demonstrate Firstly, using a NATO male into the female multi-standard fitting. Goes in quite well, nice and easy. 
Now I will use an Australian standard mail. Once again, into the multi-standard and will lock down into place quite well. The added benefit, as you will see, is this locking mechanism inbuilt into the arms. The way it works is once you push their arms in, it locks them in place. A lot of our customers find this useful as they don't need to rely on the safety clips, which are expensive and can be easily lost. This is also part of our three inch range. So once again, push them in place, lock in and push the lever to unlock. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation and that the information has been useful to you. As always, feel free to contact us here at Convair should you require any further information or clarification. Thank you.